Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, I am in the middle of going through question number five from June 2022, P1, Pure Mathematics P1 from International A Level at Excel. Um, I've done part A in a separate video, um, which you'll find in the playlist for this paper, which will be somewhere over there, the link at the end of the video, and also the card at the top. Um, but um, I'm going to go through part B. I'm saving it as separate videos because this is like a, a slightly different topic. This is to do with straight line graphs. So I'm going to now um, go through the answer for this one. It says a line L1 has equation Y equals 4 over 5X. Given that line 2 is perpendicular to line 1 and passes to the point negative 5, 0, find an equation for line 2. Writing your answer in the form Y equals MX plus C where M and C are constants to be found. So line 2 obviously is a straight line graph just like line 1. And line 2 is perpendicular to line 1. So we can say that the gradient of line 2 is equal to the negative reciprocal of the gradient of line 1. Okay, And the gradient of line 1, we can see from here, is 4 fifths. So the gradient of line 2 is a negative reciprocal, which is negative 5 over 4. So you take the gradient, which is 4 fifths, and you turn it upside down and change the sign. That's the gradient of line 2. And we know that line 2 passes to the point negative 5 and 0 negative 5, 0. So now we can use, um, there's different methods we could use. I, I like to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where this is the x coordinate of the point, x1, and this is the y coordinate of the point that we have. So as long as we have a point on the line of the gradient, we can find the equation of the line. So we have y minus the y value, which is 0, equals m, which is minus 5 over 4, times x minus the x value, which is minus 5. And we'll end up here with um, y y is equal to minus 5 over 4 times x plus 5. So y equals minus 5 over 4x minus 25 over 4. That's the equation of the straight line in the form required. y equals mx plus c. So y has to be the subject. Um, if they didn't state that you could have written this as 4y equals minus 5x minus 25 or some, something like that without any uh, fractions but they want it in this form. As I mentioned there is also another method that we could have used which I'll just quickly show you here which most people actually most students is, um, in the beginning of AS they normally prefer this method and by the time they finished A2 they're normally using this method but anyway so we could use this method where the y and x here are the point given so you've got 0 equals the gradient is minus 5 over 4 times x which is minus 5 plus c so this tells us what c is that's negative 25 over 4 so c is equal to um, I'm sorry that's uh, sorry See, made, said it's made, almost made a silly mistake. That's positive 25 over 4, of course, because minus times minus is positive. So C is negative 25 over 4. So therefore, we can say Y equals MX. So M is minus 5 over 4 times X plus C, which is minus 25 over 4. Same answer. And we, okay, have, um, you know, answer that question. These two slightly different methods. So that's question 5, part B. Very short, actually, um, this particular part. It's only three marks. Pretty simple. Uh, but this is a slightly different topic from the rest of the uh, question. This is to do with straight line graphs. I'm going to save this under straight line graphs, the playlist for which will be down here. The playlist for the paper, so parts A and B and all the other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere over here at the end of the video. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Um, and I'll do part C again in a separate video because it's also to do with a different chapter, a different part of the um syllabus so i'll save that as a separate um, video okay thank you for watching and see you soon